Hello YouTubers, Happy Technoid here. And today's video, we're going to be discussing cassettes and particularly metal cassettes, the metal type, type 4. They call them type 4 because they're metal. The metal particles are imprinted or deposited on the the backing of the tape and it is pure metal. It's not an oxide, it's metal. And uh, this is a collection of some of the metal tapes I have. I have a few more, but I never really bought all that many metal tapes. And then because, well, for one, I was using DBX noise reduction on most of my recordings, so a Type 2 tape would suffice. I would get excellent performance from a Type 2 tape, which chromium dioxide, cobalt doped, whatever. But Type 2 was fine for me. I just wanted to experiment and got a couple of these metal tapes. And down the years, you know, uh, metal tapes are uh, touted as being the best. They can accept up to another 6, 8, or 10 decibels of signal. You know, that's, that's great. That's cool. If that's all you're running is Dolby, and you need that extra 10 decibels of signal-to-noise ratio. But I didn't with, uh, with the DBX. But anyway, let's get down to it. Um, these ones here are, I have a Scotch. I have a Sony. I have a TDK MAX and I have a TDK MAR and we're going to get back to this one because this one is interesting all right but anyway the Scotch Metafine they called it Metafine back in the day and uh, yeah it was uh, it was an okay tape it was just a pretty much a regular uh, case with uh, metal tape in it okay and you see it's got the uh, indicative two slots in the back for metal indication on those decks that can uh, th you know tell you what kind of tape you got by just putting it in and then this Sony one this is a nice case it's it's uh, smoky you can see you can see through it you can see through it you know it's it's, it's smoky uh, kind of a dark clear and this is a what they called the metal SR and this is a very good metal tape and it, again it's got the uh, the two slots in the back for indicating that it's a metal tape and then I've got this TDK MAX which is also a very good tape again with the two slots in the back okay MAX and now this guy this guy was the first metal tape I ever bought and I'm gonna say that happened around 1981 ish 82 possibly it was the reason I got this tape is because it was the first time at that point in my life that I had a three head cassette deck that could take metal tape uh, in particular it was the uh, Pioneer CTF 1250 very good cassette deck direct drive dual caps and all that good stuff metal tape capable um, the only thing that held it back from being a better deck was it didn't have Dolby C or HX Pro but anyway back to this tape uh, what's wrong what's wrong with this picture now, I'm saying this tape I purchased back in the early 80s this would have been one of TDK's first production runs of the MARs right and it might have even been made before the standard became a standard for those two slots in the back because look it doesn't have two slots there it doesn't even have the slots for the CRO2 this is a straight up solid aluminum there so either this was a production flop they made a mistake you know during the run that these were produced or this is indeed a very rare cassette I don't know but anyway yeah this is the MAR this was touted as TDK's best available metal tape, okay? Uh, the later versions did have the two slots. I know because I've seen them in videos on YouTube. They did have the other slots and also they had different color hubs. Now these ones here are both black, but the ones on the later MARs, like they were one was green and one was white or whatever, but they were different colors indicating which side you were on but uh, yeah this I think is a very rare cassette and back in the day those who those of us who you know shelled out the dough uh, 
this thing was 20 bucks this cassette blank was 20 bucks and then you put your music on it and you don't dare put it in a walkman man you don't want your 20 dollar cassette to be ruined by a 25 dollar walkman <laughs> it better be a high-end walkman anyway so that's what i wanted to show you on this video just my little collection of metal tapes and my rarity this rare guy no slots okay some would say say uh, tdk what were you thinking but they came around obviously because this one has the slots slots no slots both metal okay something to ponder so until next time see you later